Champagne de Vavry is located in uh, Champignon village, is close to Epernay. And uh, in total we have 10 hectares of uh, vineyard and we produce per year roughly 85,000 bottles per year. And we produce um, Champagne, Blanc de Blanc with 100% of Chardonnay, Blanc de Noir with 100% of Pinot Noir and different uh, blending Champagne. Could you tell me a little bit about your uh, champagne gift box and yeah, when it would be available? Of course. Yeah, for the Valentine's Day we uh, created a gift box in order to promote our champagne of course and I think it's a, a very good idea to give uh, this sort of box for you know to celebrate the Valentine's Day. Christian, can you tell us a little bit why uh, Rhone Valley is so special for wine production? That's a good, uh, <laughs> yes, why is special? Because we have perhaps uh, we married a nice terroir with a nice weather, and then we have a very special grapes, who are Grenache and Syrah, and the blend make wine perhaps different than the other country of France. So we try to have a very good balance with, with a spicy taste of the Grenache and the red tasting of the, of the Syrah. And the two, the two both, the two blend, make perhaps something different that can be found in our country. Now, many people, uh, when they refer to the Rhone Valley, they talk about Garrigue flavors, and most people don't understand what it is. Can you explain that, please? Uh, Garrigue. Yeah, Garrigue. Because Provence is a, a very dry country with wind, sun, and the salt is poor. In the past, we have only olive. And then people change the culture, and now we have wine. But the garrigues are very dry and poor, so the production of grapes are very small, and the wine are more concentrated because we have a very small production of grapes. What is the typical uh, flavor profile in a garrigue? Would you say it's rosemary, or thyme, or brush, or...? Thanks. The garrick develops the typicity of the grapes. Grenache is spicy, is deeper, is like prune. Syrah is more cassis. And with, a, with this type of salt, we have a more a bigger expression of the grapes. But first is the grapes make the difference, and then is the salt who, who mm, married. And your own production of Rhone wines is quite uh, atypical to the Rhone Valley. It's much more elegant, yeah, much more... I think people, people don't like wine too dry, with so much alcohol, so much tannin. They prefer something more elegant, more soft, because the, the food change, and we don't drink the wine at the same time. In the past, we drink wine only when we eat. Now we drink the wine at every, uh, at every hour of the day. And we are with something more elegant, it's a pleasure at every hour. So we try to have more uh, free run juice and less pressed juice. So pressed juice is, are very, uh, have a lot of tannin and a lot of alcohol. Very extracted. And very extracted. And we don't want to extract too much. Well, the wines that you produce, which is your favorite? Ah, my favorite, sorry. Ah, perhaps this one. I didn't actually try that one. <laughs> sorry. And then, of course, Gigonda. Gigonda is perhaps one of the top of the range. But Sablé married elegant, uh, a full body, and not so much alcohol, not so much power. And that's something rich, but feminine. <laughs>